Hi everyone, I'm Whitney from Sugar and Sparrow and today I'm going to be talking about how to prevent your buttercream cakes from melting in high temperatures. After one of my cakes full on melted at an outdoor party this summer, I decided to do some experimenting with my favorite American buttercream recipe to see if I could make it more heat stable. For my experiment, I created four mini cakes and frosted them each with different frostings using my favorite vanilla buttercream recipe as a base. This one uses all butter, aka the recipe as is. This one uses a base of half butter and half high ratio shortening. This one is also half butter and half high ratio shortening, but I added a little meringue powder to it for stability. And this one is half vegan butter and half high ratio shortening with coconut milk as the liquid. And just a quick side note, for all the details on what high ratio shortening and meringue powder are, click the link in my video description to read all about them on my blog at sugarandsparrow.com. Also, I did try an all shortening frosting because I hear that's really heat stable, but I just couldn't get over how terrible it tasted. You'd have to use a lot of flavoring to get it to taste normal, and even then the texture is a little weird. So back to the experiment. I refrigerated each of these cakes until the frosting was firm before placing them in the direct sun on an 88 degree day with 34% humidity. I live in a fairly mild climate and it doesn't usually get above the mid 90s in the summertime aside from the occasional heat wave. Over the course of the two hours that I had the cakes in the sun, none of them completely melted, which was kind of disappointing because I wanted things to be a bit more dramatic. The day just wasn't hot enough. So in the end, I had to break out the hairdryer to see what would happen with more heat applied. Somehow, I forgot to press record on my camera while I had the hairdryer going, but here's what happened after about five minutes. After cranking the heat up on these cakes, the all butter buttercream frosted cake melted into soup, which makes sense because butter starts to break down when it's in an environment above 82 degrees. The cake with the half vegan butter and half high ratio shortening got a huge air bubble in the frosting that started to melt, but the shortening in the recipe did add stability because vegan butter usually has an even lower melting point than butter. The cake with half butter and half high ratio shortening looked pretty good after one hour, but this is after two hours out in the direct sun plus hair dryer. It definitely started to settle a bit. And finally, the cake with half butter and half high ratio shortening with the added meringue powder had relatively no change, even after being left out in the sun for two hours and having a hair dryer blown on it. I concluded that when you're up against crazy heat, according to these test results at least, use half butter and half high ratio shortening with meringue powder as a frosting base. If you're in need of a vegan frosting, you can chance it with half vegan butter and half high ratio shortening with the meringue powder omitted because it's basically powdered egg whites, or try the all shortening route if you can get it to taste good. My preferred heat stable vanilla buttercream recipe is linked in the video description and in the notes of that recipe you'll find everything you need to know about how to adapt the recipe for using all shortening, making it vegan, and more. In the video description you'll also find the links for the high ratio shortening and meringue powder I used for this experiment. If you have a go-to recipe for heat stable buttercream or a technique that you swear by, let us all know in the comments. We're all in this together. And if you want more cake recipes, decorating tutorials, and ideas for your cake making, be sure to head to my blog at sugarandsparrow.com. Thanks for watching.